Hello everyone and welcome! This is the Silent K and today we're playing some Mega Mech. We are in the middle of a battle to rescue Vernita, who was MIA some time ago. Um, we have one initiative for round eight, which is the important thing. Let me close this down. And then here in a minute I will be... <laughs> hey Rank, how's it going? Glad you could join us. Uh, Wonder if anyone else is in chat right now? Maybe? No? I don't know. Um, we only have eyes on two enemies at the moment. One of them is this Hellhound, which uh, has been lobbing LRM5s at us. Um, not much of a threat. Uh, this Great Worm has taken a significant amount of damage. The Sega Genesis guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, the Great Worm, uh, has lost his medium and small laser on his left side. He still has a pair of Ultra 2s and an LRM-10, as well as one medium and one small. Uh, and those are Clantech? Yeah, those are Clantech ER smalls, so those are doing 5 damage each. Oh, oh, the shirt, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, we had a Genesis in my household, uh, we kind of skipped straight from there to the N64, um, we didn't really have anything in between, didn't have a Super Nintendo, didn't have, um, like, a didn't get a Saturn until later on. Uh, let's edit the bots, we'll replace player one with princess and I'm just going to use the default settings and she is going to start moving pieces. Uh, hopefully we'll get eyes on something else. I know that there is a flashman somewhere in this area and there is also a uh, mad cat that's been sniping us from somewhere around here. Um, yeah, Dreamcast. Uh, I had one of those uh, but not until later uh, when I you know, was able to start Paying for things on my own. <laughs> uh, the N64 came out around the time I was like a junior, senior in high school. And the only reason we had one in my household was because my dad won one in a raffle. Uh, Alright, let's get Hoser moved up into position. Yeah, Tsubasa was running hot, if I recall. Uh, no, Tsubasa took a cooldown turn, I guess. Um, we can send him up this way. Got to get some back strikes on this Great Worm or whoever's in this area. Is there anyone? Oh, there is a pilot in this area. Uh, let's see. Grasshopper's going to have to get up, but that won't be until later. We'll get Earl. Up into this hex. We'll get Yarvik up into worth running here. Uh, from here, we've got partial cover. So I'll go ahead and just walk. Do we have eyes on? No, we still don't have eyes on that mad cat. Gribbly, hey, how's it going? How are you? Glad you could join us. Um, right now we are in a target poor environment. We're down to just, uh, two targets and one of them we're not going to be firing on because it is just a pilot. Uh, the conjurer that was up here is gone now. Uh, Ash, I'd like to move five hexes. So she's going to do that at a run. Uh, Tugyu is also going to be running so that he can get as close to the action as possible. Uh, we're going to hold off on the Grasshopper. Uh, Petra is going to run as well. She's got some catching up to do. Uh, Gundog, or excuse me, Longsword in the Gundog. 
Um, might be. Oh, yeah, we'll just move him at a walk. Try to cover some, some, some backs over here. Uh, the guillotine, and then all that's left will be the grasshopper. And that great worm still hasn't moved. The pouncer has arrived. Um, as has the mad cat. Okay. So the mad cat and the pouncer. And the pouncer, I noticed, was actually one of the higher point value units uh, at 2777 uh, with an elite pilot with two ER mediums, three ER smalls, and an ultra 10. Uh, and he is rather mobile at 695. So he's worth a fair amount of points. We can take him down, that would be lovely, but he does have that target movement mod of three. Uh, we'll have the guillotine. Guillotine can actually see the pouncer from where he's at. Can he advance? Yeah, we'll just walk into those woods for now. Oh, and... The great worm has disappeared. I wonder where he went. Uh, let's see. Grasshopper. Grasshopper can get eyes on the mad cat. Does the grasshopper want to? The grasshopper can still take a PPC to the arm and be fine. Can still take a PPC to the other arm and be fine. Uh, the right torso might be a problem, but they're just lasers. There's no ammo. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll need a three to get up. Got it. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got the eight. Uh, the Mad Cat also backing over an elevation change. Needed a three, got a seven. Now that Mad Cat has really strong pilot at the helm. Uh, he is firing at Earl. He needs fives with the PPCs. And a 10 with the streak six. Uh, let's start as we do with Hoser, who cannot see anyone but the pouncer, it looks like. We've got the pouncer on sevens and fives. We'll do that. I'll throw in an eight with the ER medium, so we'll be four heat over, actually. We'll make it a nine so that we're only two heat over. Um, let's see, after that is going to be Petra and the Banshee, who also has eyes on the Pouncer and has him on 12s. That's not great. Uh, three, four, five for running, six, seven, eight for his movement. Long range makes it a 12. Um, but it's better than nothing, which is the alternative. So we will be firing both PPCs. We'll hold off on the LBX. We'll hold off on the mediums. The SRMs aren't in range. Uh, let's see. Next up, probably be Earl. Now, who else is shooting at the pouncer? Uh, is Ash going to be shooting at the Yes, she is. So we'll go ahead. We'll fire. That's not it. It is Ash. Okay. Um, nope. Uh, she just has a nine, even at medium range. We'll do two larges and four mediums. That'll be heat neutral. Um, we will. Else is shooting at the pouncer. The boss is going to be shooting at the pouncer. Yes, he is. Okay, we've got him on a pair of eights. I'll put us two heat over, which is fine. Okay, now I think everyone else is going to be shooting at Mad Cat. Nope. Uh, the guillotine is going to be shooting at the pouncer as well, on a 9. 
And 13s, it's just going to be the 9, obviously. Uh, the Stalker. Not have eyes on the Mad Cat. Okay, so we are going for the Pouncer with the Stalker as well. If we can get something better than 12s. Yeah, we've got some LRMs on 11s. All right, so uh, we've got Grasshopper at the Mad Cat on sevens. We'll do two larges and we'll do three larges and one medium on a nine. Uh, let's see, the Orion I think is going to be next. Uh, with a seven, some nines, seven and a nine with the streak SRM fours. Uh, let's see, Earl at the Mad Cat on a ten. That's not hoping for something a little better from Earl. And an A with the LRMs. I'd like to knock that Mad Cat down, which is going to be difficult because his piloting skill is three. Uh, Longsword, first of all, before I forget, <laughs> switch that over to Slug Ammo. Longsword does not have a target at all, so that is kind of a bummer. I saw the Mad Cat go down. That's exciting. Uh, that's a significant part of their forces. Uh, he did hit Earl in the right leg with an ERPBC, down to 26 armor, and three quarters of the way to a PSR. Um, Hoser missed with the ERPBC, did hit with the two regular PPCs, got the pouncer in the right leg and the head, forcing Li Hong's first consciousness check, and then a medium laser to the left torso down to seven. Uh, let's see, Petra missed the pouncer on 12s. Grasshopper got him in the right leg with a medium laser. That is, yeah, the same one that uh, Hoser smashed with a PPC. Wait, the crit? Oh, a crit on life support. I didn't even notice that. So, yeah, he's going to have to be managing his heat or he's going to start taking pilot damage. And the pouncer is currently three heat over, so he's going to have to cool it, uh, or he will start taking damage. Uh, let's see, the grasshopper got him in the right leg the, and the right arm and the right leg again. The pouncer returned fire, got, gra got our grasshopper piloted by Ash in the right leg with the Ultra 10. Missed with the second shot, fortunately. Uh, ER small to the right arm, down to 17 and three quarters of the way to a PSR. Uh, Tsubasa got the pouncer in the left torso with an ER large. Was that also left torso? Was gotten with a medium laser by Earl as well. So yeah, you uh, really softened up that pouncer, but um, other than the life support hit, um, everyone else is also doing some good work on it. The guillotine missed on a 9, the stalker landed 3 LRMs to the CT, could have been a crit but didn't get the roll. And then at the Timberwolf, we've got him in the left leg with, uh, who's piloting this grasshopper again? That is Victor Rama. Victor Rama got him in the left leg with a large laser. Uh, the Orion got him in the left leg with an LB-10X. Medium laser to the left torso, down to 20. LRM 15 to the right torso, down to 20. And the remaining four LRMs to the head, which forces Yefton's first consciousness check, which he flubs and blacks out. And that's why he went prone, and that's going to be his second consciousness, or his second point of damage. Um, and the streaks also hit to the right arm, right torso, right leg, and the right, left torso. Uh, Earl missing on 10s and 8s. The Pouncer took 40 plus, needs a 5, gets an 8. The Timberwolf automatically goes down, taking 8 damage to the left arm and torso, and taking his second point of damage, as predicted. Uh, physical attacks, I don't think we have any. So 
this is going to be what heat phase, I believe. Heat phase, yeah. Uh, other than the pouncer at three heat, everyone is at two or less, so no one's really running that hot. But the pouncer does need to keep that in check. Uh, moving on to initiative phase. Uh, we've won initiative again. We're at 80%, they're at 70%. So we are pulling ahead, which is nice. Very good. Um, I don't think the Mad Cat is listed as being less battle value just because it's unconscious. So he is still worth over 4,000 points. If we can take him out, uh, that's a good, what? Seventh of their force, uh, which is what about 15%? Yeah, uh, we could knock them down to 55 if we take out this mad cat. Uh, so yeah, I will be trying to do that. Uh, we can get the LBX into medium range, but not the large laser. We can get the mediums into extreme range. Yeah, uh, and the LRMs at medium range. All right, yeah. Uh, Earl's just going to walk. Uh, Hoser. Hoser would actually maybe like to run. Try to get up into this area where he can cover more of this ground. So yeah, uh, we'll have him rush forward. Because these buildings are, I mean, they are having an impact on the, the flow of the battle, but we're not fighting in amongst them. Uh, I don't think there's really any enemies other than the pouncer who are in this little uh, area. Um, although, it might be worth. Checking anyways. Uh, yeah, we'll run to here, and then next turn we'll probably jump to here. Uh, let's see, Yarvik. Yarvik can get the LBX up to short range, and the mediums down to medium range. The small pulse laser is also going to be at long range. Uh, LRMs are going to have one point worth of uh, minimum range, and the streaks are at medium. If we walk, and we get if we get any closer, does anything change? No, no reason to run. All right, we'll just walk. We'll get one point of evasion. Uh, let's see. Ash. Six hexes is where she wants to be from that mad cat. Uh, because then her larges and mediums are both at medium range. So yeah, we'll have her walk this turn. Uh, the stalker... Stalker maybe can go here in these woods so that he can get around the building instead of going up and down these hills and through this rubble and woods. Uh, alternately, if we go to the left, Yeah, we're going to go to the right. Uh, let's see. This is the grasshopper that gets better at short range. We'll have him move five hexes, get in all up close on the mad cat. Uh, it's not going to be adjacent still, which is kind of a bummer. Everyone's going to be taking a penalty because he's prone. Uh, this is Petra. Petra can get the Mad Cat into long range. I guess is better than nothing. Uh, there's the Great Worm again. Okay, so... Uh, Hoser. Hoser cannot see the Great Worm. Uh, Longsword. Longsword cannot see the Great Worm. 
pearl. Oh. Uh, we'll have Petra advance at a walk. Yeah, she can fall in behind the stalker. She won't have a shot. But if we run, we get a little evasion. We get shots on the mad cat. Yeah, we'll just run straight ahead. Thomas Leisman, hey, how's it going? Uh, no, no one got their head blown off. It was a crit to the life support. Um, on the sir, I believe. Uh, yeah, took a PPC to the head and lost his life support. Uh, not the cockpit, but he is at three heat, so, or he was last turn. So, uh, he might be. He listed his heavy damage, so he's not crippled. He's not in force withdrawal. Which means Tsubasa can take some pot shots at him and maybe finish taking that head off. Uh,. Meantime, dog, walk, run. Uh, yeah, well, let's get some LBX pellets on that mad cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, hit with the wrong PPC. Uh, yeah, if that had been the clan PPC, it would have been over for him. Okay, the guillotine. Maybe get eyes on the great worm somewhere. Uh, not from there. 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 This is a level four building, so there's no seeing through that. This is a level four building, so there's no seeing through that means this building is this hex is protected and that one's not so yeah there's um not much we can do this turn as far as getting into the great worm's face uh other than ash turning but she's not good at short range so um you'll be firing at the mad cat i presume uh the great worm is in Rough shape. Yeah, we'll line up a shot for next turn. Um, I would like to do as much damage to that mad cat as possible before he wakes up at the end of the turn. And I assume he will, because he only needs a five or better. Um, starting with Poser, as we do. Poser has... It's on nobody. Oh, hey, look, here's a Chameleon, a Rifleman 2C, a Grizzly, and a, a Hellhound from earlier. Um, they seem to be making up a pretty strong second line. I assume they're going to start advancing, or at least trying to prevent me from advancing. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime... Poser has eyes on nobody. He cannot take a shot at all. Unless he wants to start shooting at one of these buildings, like maybe this one, which has a construction factor of 175. <laughs> uh, you know what? Might as well. It's not going to build up any heat unless someone shoots this in the heat sink, which I don't think is going to happen. Um... Seeing as how I don't have eyes on anyone, that means no one's got eyes on me. Uh, uh, the Mad Cat. We've got 13s with the PPCs. We've got a 5 with the LBX. Uh, that's going to have to be the center torso. Or the leg. Um, the left torso has 31 points left, the head is down to 8. I'd love to hit that head with a large laser or something. 
Um, even a medium pulse laser with a crit to the cockpit would be... Oh, it would actually be ideal. That way we can repair the head and put it back on the field. Um, in the meantime, though, I think we're going to start hammering that left leg. See if we can't get him to eject when he comes to. Uh, so that is sixes with the PPCs, five with the LBX, and everything else is going to be out of range. Um, Earl has the Mad Cat on a 10 with the LBX or a 2 with the Cluster Munitions. We'll do the 2, but we'll save that for last. Uh, 12 to the head, not worth it, not worth it. If we miss, it's a wasted shot. So we'll go for that left leg again. We'll do the mediums, finally. Uh, the small is still not in range. The LRM's on a 3. The SRM's on a 7. No, let's skip the SRM's. Oh, didn't mean to hit that twice. And then we'll do the LB10X cluster munitions, trying to get some crits. Uh, the Orion at the Mad Cat has him on 8. To the head. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go try to behead him on an eight and maybe some tens with the mediums. Uh, we'll do a two with the LRMs and a three with the streaks. So we're gonna build up three points of heat more than likely. Um, This grasshopper can also go for the head on eight, so that'll be all three large lasers, because if one of those hits the head, he is done for. Uh, and then that'll be, I think, three mediums on eights as well, so it'll be four heat over. Um, gosh. And go for the head on nines. And go for the Great Worm on sevens. So even at short range, she's still better off going for the Great Worm. Um, Stalker's not going to have a shot on anyone. The Guillotine's not going to have a shot. The Gundog, the Blackjack, those guys are... Well, Tsubasa's going to have a shot at the Pouncer. But uh, yeah, Ash is going to be the only one shooting at the Great Worm. So we'll do two larges. No. We'll do oh there goes the AC dang it uh, I think we'll do all three larges and we'll do three of the mediums and that's all on sevens and fives actually wait there's a five for five damage so 83 percent of five is about four versus 58% of eight, which is more than four, uh, but it builds up the heat. Yeah, we'll go for the fives. We'll go, actually, you know what? We can, we can go seven heat over, uh, unless someone gets us in the heat sink. Uh, we won't have anything more than a movement penalty next turn. And every medium laser we can land on this great worm, the better. Because he is, yeah, two to the left torso would do good. Uh, the left leg, the right leg, both would take a medium laser not very well. They'd start critting immediately. So yeah, we will overheat to get the, the Great Worm with as much as we can this turn. Uh, let's see, the Stalker still has no targets. Gundog has the Mad Cat on an 11 with the LBX. Or a three, yeah, we'll do the three. We'll do an 11. We'll do 
a bunch of sixes. We'll do a three. That puts us one heat under because the ER small is um, not in range. Uh, the guillotine, as predicted, has no targets. And Tsubasa, last but not least, has the pouncer on sevens. So that'll be one large and all the mediums. That'll be two heat over. All right, what are we looking at? Did someone get a kill? I'm hoping someone got a kill. Uh, Hoser hits the building. It takes 35 points of damage. Petra hits the madcap in the left torso. Hits with eight LBX pellets, critting on a small laser. Uh, Earl gets him in the left leg with a large and two mediums. Crits on his upper leg. Uh, left leg takes another four down to seven. 20, all 20 LRMs, nice. To the arms, the center torso, and the left leg is down to two structure. And six shots from the LBX, mostly to the right side. Uh, the pouncer hits Tsubasa in the left leg with that ultra 10 down to 12 armor there. And an ER medium to the CT, down seven to a 12. Uh, the Orion missing on 8s and 10s uh, does land 9 LRMs to the arms and 4 streak LRM SRMs to the arms and left torso. Left torso is down to 2, left arm is down to 3. Uh, the Rifleman 2C misses Yarvik on 10s, fortunately. Uh, the Grasshopper gets the Mad Cat in the head with the large laser. Very nice. So the Mad Cat is off the field and potentially salvageable. Uh, the Grasshopper at the Great Worm hits him in the left torso, which crits on his engine and gyro. Nice. Left torso blown off, left arm blown off, six damage to the center torso, down to one armor. Large laser to the right arm, down to one armor. Medium laser to the CT, down to ten. The right leg is down to nine, critting on his hip and his foot, so he is almost certainly going down this turn. With the gyro hit and a hip hit. Oof. Uh, medium laser to the right torso, medium laser to the center torso. Um, if he falls and crits on his center torso for five damage, uh, we're giving that one to Ash. Uh, the Great Worm returns fire, hits us in the left torso with an uh, ER medium and an ER small. Uh, hits us in the left arm with a pair of Ultra 2s, one of them jams and six LRMs to the left leg and torso. Uh, Longsword lands three SRMs, four SRMs, four SRMs, and six LBX pellets. Um, blows off the right arm, but it is recoverable. Uh, the Grizzly at the Grasshopper, missing with the Gauss Rifle and a large pulse on 9 and 11. Uh, need to keep an eye out for that Grizzly. Uh, if he gets much closer, he's going to need like a 7 with that large pulse, or a 9 with the Gauss Rifle. That could be, that could be rough. Uh, the Hellhound hits the Grasshopper in the center torso with a large pulse laser, down to 13. Uh, the Blackjack, on 7s, lands 0 for 5 on the Pouncer. That is some bad luck. Uh, the Great Worm goes down, takes five to the right torso, makes his first consciousness check. The Ash needs a four to stay standing, gets a three, falls on the left side, wastes an edge to avoid a head hit, three edge remaining, takes seven damage to the right torso and right arm, both down to 15. And Ash needs a four to avoid hurting herself, gets a six. Uh, Longsword is not going to be attacking anyone. The guillotine is not going to be attacking anyone. Hopefully no one's attacking us. Okay, yeah, heat phase. Um, Earl is up to two heat. The rifleman is up to five. The pouncer is up to six. Uh, at what point does he start taking damage? I forget. Um, 
Yarvik is up to three heat, Ash is up to seven, so she's gonna be down a movement point and she's prone. Um Stalker. Uh okay. Must have only gains two heat, so it only loses two to the combat computer. I was about to say, doesn't it take away four? But it only takes away two if you've only got two. Uh, the Grasshopper Mark Three is up to four heat. The Blackjack is up to two heat. Let's see what losing that Mad Cat did to their battle value. 14 heat is first shutdown check. Uh, is that also when they start taking damage from a uh, busted life support? Uh, yeah, we've got them down to 56% of their forces. Uh, they've got us down to about 80% of ours. Um, okay. That was the Rifleman trying to keep his distance. Uh, let's see. Yarvik. Maybe we start advancing on these guys. We get a point of evasion. We can see the Rifleman. He's at long range for the LRMs. So we're probably not going to hit anything. Uh, Earl, likewise, is going to continue advancing. Uh, Hoser. I'd like to wait for the Great Worm or the Pouncer to get where he can shoot them before he moves. Uh, let's see, the Guillotine is waiting on the Great Worm. Uh, Longsword can go ahead and rush forward. Get eyes on the Grizzly at long range. Long range with the LBX and the ER medium. Um, oh, the Pouncer and the Great Worm still haven't gone yet. Uh, Ash, Crone, Stalker would like to run. The Grasshopper, Petra would like to run. Uh, let's see. Guillotine would like to wait. Subas would like to wait. Uh, this one is Victorama. Yeah, Victorama. Uh, we can. Medium range for everything. Oh, there's the Flashman. I didn't even notice him. Uh, yeah, let's... Do we want the point of evasion or do we want eyes on the Flashman? If we get eyes on the Flashman, he has eyes on us. He's got, I think, more lasers than we do. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to be too far out of position. I don't want the, the Hellhound, the Grizzly, and the Chameleon, and the Rifleman all to gang up on me. Uh, what else can we do? We could jump to here. I'll get a size on the Flashman and only the Flashman. That actually might be a good idea. Uh, the Flashman is a 4-5 pilot, so he's going to be pretty easy to knock down, and yeah, he does have as many lasers as we do. Nope, this is the Mark III. The Mark III has two more mediums. So yeah, that's a winning proposition, I think. Uh, Hoser. I'd actually like to back up from the Pouncer. Or maybe stand still. Yeah, that's a range of three, so backing up would give a penalty of one. Standing still gives a penalty of one. Uh, yeah, Hoser is going to stand still and try to kill a Pouncer this turn. Flashman can hurt? Yeah, I know. I'm just hoping that our Grasshopper hurts more. Uh, let's see. Subasa. Uh, how strong is this building? 
45, not strong enough. Um, well, we can actually not jump that way. Uh, this is a uh, level four. We could jump to there. No, nope, it's too high. Uh, let's see. Or we could rush forward and try to get eyes on the Flashman, give uh, Victor Rama an assist. Uh, yeah. And also keep an eye on this Hellhound who has five jumping movement points and could probably get into this area as well. So yeah, we'll go ahead. Subasa will have a cooldown turn. Uh, let's see, the guillotine. I think the guillotine's gonna stand still. And Ash, oh, the Great Worm is immobile. Uh, did he? Critter on his engine, critter on his gyro. Has no right, no, his right leg has no actuators, but he still has a right leg, it looks like. Um, Uh, we're not going to be able to get eyes on anyone this turn, so I think thank you. I think we're going to use careful stance, so we should only need like a one to get up. Uh, yeah, actually a one. Um, and that way we'll be able to shoot at this guy this turn, and then be able to move north next turn. Uh, the Great Worm tries to get up with a busted hip and a busted gyro. He fails, he busts his right leg even more, and blacks out. Uh, Grasshopper needs a 1, gets an 8. This is pretty much guaranteed. Uh, let's see, Earl has an eye on the chameleon. Let's uh, go ahead and twist this way. Uh, we've got the chameleon on a 14 with the LBX, uh, and a 15 with the LRS, so that is not going to happen. The only other option we've got is the Pouncer. I think I'm going to give Hoser the first shot at the Pouncer, uh, unless you'd like to let Earl soften him up first. Uh, also, the guillotine is going to be finishing him off, uh, if no one else does. Uh, Ash at the Great Worm, we can hit him in the head on eights. Eights and sixes, I believe, with the mediums. Uh, so yeah, we'll do two larges and three mediums, all at the head on eights and sixes. Does matter, doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll shoot some lasers at the Great Worm's head, and hopefully take him out. Um... Bouncer... A headshot would do it, but we can't target the head. Uh, the left torso would take six to the center torso, would be down to three. Right torso would go internal... We hit that left torso a couple or, and the and then follow that up with some hits to the center torso, we can take him out. Uh I think since Earl doesn't have any other shit uh targets, uh we'll do the LB ten X. Uh is that on cluster? I think that was still on cluster. Yeah, it was. Uh we'll do the LB ten X on slug ammo for seven large laser. Some mediums. And the SRMs, I think. On a nine, heat neutral works for me. Uh, we'll do the guillotine next. 
Uh, the guillotine has him on fives. Uh, that's going to be the large. All four mediums. We'll do the small. We'll do everything. We'll go three heat over for everything. And then uh, hopefully it won't be dead by the time Earl takes, or Poser takes his shot. And we'll do two PPCs, all three PPCs. And a couple of medium lasers on fours. Call it three of them. Four heat over, just enough to where we don't slow ourselves down. Uh, Yarvik has the Grizzly on a nine. So we'll go ahead and take one of those. And a seven with the LRMs and an 11 with the LB uh, streaks. Uh, Stalker only has the Pouncer. Uh, what did the Pouncer have again? LB the uh, Ultra 10 with 15 shots. Hopefully we can salvage that ammo. So I'm actually gonna have the Stalker to you not take any shots at all. Uh, let's see, Grasshopper. Uh, this is uh, the one with Victor Rama. We've got the Flashman on sevens, or we can do the Puma on probably sixes and eights. Sixes and eights, yeah. Uh, the Puma has a lot less armor, a lot more machine guns, and four medium pulse lasers. So that's four medium pulses at seven a pop versus three larges and four mediums. He's got me on eights. Uh, the Puma has me on probably fives, it looks like. Uh, so that. Do. Two larges and a bunch of eights. Actually, no, if we target the flashman with the mediums, it would still be eights uh, because of the second target modifier. Um, Petra has eyes on nobody yet. Longsword has the Hellhound on a uh, nine. And an 11. And a bunch of 13s. Uh, Tsubasa doesn't have eyes on anyone. Uh, I think Longsword and Yarvik are going to take more damage than they deal out. <laughs> Uh, I can pretty much guarantee they're going to take more damage than they dish out, because they're not dishing out much damage. Uh, okay, Ash hits the Great Worm in the head with a large laser and a medium laser, and the Great Worm is down. Flashman on eights lands a hit on our Grasshopper's right arm down to eight structure and a medium laser to the right torso down to one armor. Uh, Earl at the Pouncer hits it in the center torso with the LB-10X, crits on the gyro, medium lasers to the arms, leaving them with 7 and 2. The Guillotine hits the Pouncer in the right arm with a large laser and a medium, did I say right arm or right torso? I meant right torso. Uh, medium laser to the left arm and the right leg destroyed, and we crit it on the Ultra-10 ammo. Um... Okay, so Li Hong takes two damage, needs a five and a seven to stay conscious, gets a four, automatically ejects, fails, takes another point of damage, uh, takes 100 damage to the right torso, remaining 94 damage prevented by case. So the pouncer is salvageable, uh, and it might even have a few shots of ultra 10 ammo somewhere in there that didn't get blown up. Uh, we also hit it in the center torso, center torso, left torso, SRM's uh, head blown off. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Um, and two more SRM's to the center torso. Earl is going to finish destroying this thing. There's not going to be anything left. And that was the cats. Uh, I think they
they can sort things out for themselves for right now. Uh, the Pouncer hits Earl in the left leg with both shots from the Ultra 10. And the left leg and center torso with ER medium laser fire for 7 each, down to 40 armor on the center torso. Uh, Hoser hits the Pouncer in the CT, the CT and the left torso, which is blown off, or blows off the left arm and crits on the engine two more times. Uh, there's a little bit of a leg left, but that's about it. <laughs> uh, the Rifleman 2C misses Yarvik on 11s. The Orion, Yarvik, hits the Grizzly in the left arm with the LB-10X. Nice. And 9 LRMs. Almost enough for, uh, PSR. Uh, those LRMs hit the left leg and right arm. Uh, the Puma hits the Grasshopper in the right torso, critting on a heat sink. Medium pulse lasers to the left torso and center torso, down to six armor on that CT. We return fire, we glance a shot off his center torso with the large laser for four. Hit him in the center torso for another eight, down to four, and a medium laser to the left leg. So that's 17 damage on the Puma. That's not going to be enough. Uh, the Grizzly. Uh, does land a hit with the Gauss Rifle on Yarvik's left arm. He needed a six. Yeah, that Grizzly is going to be our next target, I think. Uh, the Large Pulse Laser misses on a four. The Medium Pulse Laser misses on an eight. The LRMs do hit on a six to the right arm and center torso. Uh, Gundog at the Hellhound hits him in the right arm with the LB-10X and the left arm with the ER Medium. Uh, the Conjurer returns fire and lands two missiles uh, to the center torso after AMS takes out some of them. Uh, Earl needs a 5, gets a 7. Yarvik needs a 4, gets a 12. Our Grasshopper needs a 4, gets a 7. And we didn't force any PSRs on them. Uh, we'll skip physical attacks for you. We'll skip physical attacks for you. And we will skip physical attacks. So that's going to be the heat phase, uh, at which point Hoser is at 4 heat, the Flashman is at 5, the Hellhound is at 5, our Grasshopper is at 4, the Grasshopper Mark 3 is up to 6, because he lost a heat sink this turn, uh, and the Guillotine is up to 3. Everyone else is running pretty cool. That was still a pretty good round for us. Yeah, it was. Uh, we did take a Gauss Rifle, but we took it to an arm that still had plenty of uh, armor. So I'm not really that uh, not bothered by taking a Gauss Rifle hit. It could have been bad. It could have been real bad. But it wasn't. Oh, so, okay. And we've got them down to 44%. Are we trying to get them down to 33%? I feel like that's a good compromise between dragging it out too long and finishing too early. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll go for 33%. 33.3 repeating if we have to. Um, Earl is definitely going to get eyes on anything he can, including the Grizzly. Uh, Hoser is going to wait, I think. Uh, actually, uh, both got destroyed. Earl, or sorry, Hoser. I don't know why I keep calling him Earl. Uh, Hoser. Uh, Hoser would like to get back in the action, so he's going to try to round that corner as soon as possible. Uh, Yarvik. Hang on one second. Hi. I had to tell one of our girls to be good. I don't have to do that that often. Uh, let's see. Ash, who likes to be at medium range. Uh, we can go three hexes and turn this way. Uh, we'll require a PSR of two or better. I think we got that. Oh. Oh, the chameleon is getting in line. Be taken out by the stalker, maybe? Uh, yeah. 
this. We can. That gives us the chameleon at long range. And medium range for the LRM. So that's not a bad deal. Uh, Grasshopper is going to wait. Banshee is going to advance. We'll get eyes on this chameleon and the rifleman. So that's nice. Um, guillotine is also going to be advancing at top speed. Uh, Tsubasa. Oh! There is suddenly a Hellbringer uh, in our face. He has a Gauss rifle, an LB5X, and 12 SRMs. As well as an ER small laser that does 5 damage. Uh, do we want to get him. I think that is the safest place other than out of his line of sight. Uh, the Gauss rifle has a minimum range and he walked. That's going to be a three, four, five, six. Oh, he might still only need a six to get us with the Gauss rifle at this range. Uh, what's his back armor look like? Uh, his back armor is 7s and 8s. Uh, right torso has ammo, left torso does not. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll try and get in his back. Hopefully we don't lose our head to a Gauss rifle. Uh, the Flashman has backed off, so we will... Ooh. We also want to back off. This puts us in short range from the Grizzly. Maybe medium range from yeah, medium range from the rifleman who is what five ten. Yeah, like eleven hexes away. So that's effectively short range for his large pulses. Because he does get that minus two movement. Uh minus two targeting. Uh let's try jumping, shall we? Uh that gets us out of line of sight of the grizzly, but not the hellhound or the rifleman. Uh it does give us a little bit of evasion against the flashman. We'll do that. Uh the night hawk is coming in for the flank. Longsword. Is going to get within two hexes of that Puma and try to light him up with some SRMs. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see about the TMMs and all that. Uh, whatever his best shot is, he's probably going to take. Um, Grasshopper needed a two, got a five. So that was a piece of cake. Uh, starting with Poser. Poser has the Chameleon on an 11 and a pair of 9s. We'll go one heat over for that. I don't think we've got anything else. Uh, next is going to be Petra and the Banshee. She has the Chameleon on 13s, has the Rifleman on 11s. Uh, that's have to be the rifleman. We'll do the PPCs. We'll do the LBX. Uh, let's see. I think next is going to be Earl. Where's Earl? Oh, we're on Earl. <laughs> uh, Earl has the Hellhound on nines. Has the rifleman on 12s, the chameleon on 13s. Well, that is going to be the hellhound then. It has taken some damage, but not a lot. Or, uh, he has a 50 tonner. If we can deal 46 points of damage to that building, he will fall 5 levels. That would be catastrophic. Uh, 46 damage. Three, four, five, that's 25. 
potentially 45. Uh, unless Asher the guillotine joins in. Uh, the guillotine has million, I guess, on a 12. Um, let's see. Uh, who's next? Count for some misses, you know how we roll. Um, yeah, I was gonna try to, uh, try to account for that. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it though, even on threes. Uh, we would have to hit with all the LRMs and something else. Uh, and all the mediums on threes, obviously. Uh, oh sevens for the building with the mediums so yeah we can only count about half of the mediums that's 10 plus 10 maybe from the lrms give or take uh so that's 20 points we would have to do another 26 or so to the building to make the hellhound fall that said might be easier to do that damage to the hellhound to the building than the hellhound itself. We've got him on nines and elevens. Uh, yeah, we'll do ten, eighteen, maybe that, and that. We'll go three heat over at the building. Um, let's see. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the stalker down here who has Hellhound on tens, has the chameleon on fourteens, has the Hellhound's building on fours. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and throw in a couple more fours. Say. That'll be a secondary target, so those will be fives. Uh, we'll go for the chameleon on 12. Oh. Conjurer on 10s. Rifleman on 10s. Yeah, let's throw some shots at the rifleman. And then try to finish off this building that the conjurer is on. Uh, we'll do four heat over, which uh, for the stalker is zero. So uh, that'll be that. Okay, we can expect the Conjurer to go down now, I think. Um, <laughs> would overkill it just to ensure our shots aren't wasted rather than 12s and 10s? Uh, I, if I have anyone else uh, that doesn't have any good targets, I will definitely shoot the building some more. But at this point, I think he's already going to be taking the falling damage, and nothing we do is going to increase that at this point. Uh, that said, we've got the Grizzly on a 7, which is definitely worth doing. And some 9s. And the LRMs on an 8 because of minimum range, and 9s with the Streak SRMs. Uh, you know what? We might as well throw in the Small Pulse. Yeah, that will be literally everything. And that'll be four heat over if the SRM is fire. Um, Ash has the Flashman on eights and fours. Has the Hellhound on eights and sixes. I think that's... I mean, the Hellhound... Hellhound has two ER mediums and a large pulse. He's less of a threat, I think, than the Flashman. So yeah, we will we'll do one, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, if we don't lose another heat sink, that uh, should be perfect. Uh, our Grasshopper here is taking fire from all three sides. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Gundog. 
the gun dog. Has the rifleman on an eight, so yeah, that's a shot worth taking. And another eight. Uh, with the other weapons, I think we might be. That's a ten on the hellhound. That's a four on the building. So yeah, that'll be a four. No, we'll do eights and sevens. Do eights and sevens on the conjurer. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that. Oh, sorry, a ten and eights. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go for some eights. Uh, let's see, the grasshopper at the flashman, I think, on fives. We'll do one large. So we got the medium lasers to overheat if we wanted to. We'll stop at three heat on fives. Oh, I should have kept the right arm free to punch the night hawk. I didn't do that. Uh, last but not least, Loki taking shots in the back on fours from Tsubasa with an ER large. And all four mediums. Yeah, um, we swapped two of the mediums for the large. We would still be at plus five heat. That's not worth it. Yeah, we'll keep one of the larges out of the action. Oh, I saw a bunch of red. I don't know who all. Kind of want to peek. Uh, Grasshopper's got no gyro. Hellhound is prone. Yarvik is prone. Okay. Um, the chameleon misses Yarvik on an 11. Uh, Hoser hits the chameleon in the right torso with an ER PPC, leaves him with 7 structure, and misses with the two standard PPCs, surprisingly. Um, well, I suppose it's not surprising. 11s and 9s. What's surprising is that he hit with the ER PPC on an 11. Uh, the Loki hits the Grasshopper in the CT with a Gauss Rifle. The Grasshopper is going to go down this turn. He has no Gyro, and I don't think that's from Crits. I think he's going to go CT. I think he's getting cored out this turn. Uh, ER Small Laser would have hit the head, but we have two edge remaining after that. Uh, hits the left arm instead. SRMs to the right and left arm and the right torso, left leg, left torso, right torso, right arm, right arm down to four structure, right torso down to five. Uh, the Banshee, Petra, missing on 11s, the Flashman at the Grasshopper, hits him in the right torso, destroys it and transfers into the center torso, destroyed by engine destruction because he did have that XL engine. Uh, medium laser to the left torso, crits on a double heat sink, medium laser to the CT, medium laser to the CT. So yeah, the grasshopper got cored out. Barely. If that had hit maybe the left side, he would have survived. Or a leg. He still had strong legs, didn't he? I bet he did. Yeah, 10 and 15 on the legs. Couldn't hit those, no, it all went to the CT. Uh, the guillotine misses the chameleon on a 12, the nighthawk hits the grasshopper in the left leg, and the right arm which transfers to the CT, and the right leg which is down to 15 armor. Earl hits the building with the LB-10X, large laser, and three mediums, it's down to 65. Uh, LRM-20 hits with nine, down to 56. Um, 95, when we were trying to do 46, so he is what, a 50 tonner, I think it was? So we need to do 7 more damage to that building before it'll collapse under that mech. Uh, the Rifleman, on 6s, uh, does fire everything at the Grasshopper, so that is the center torso, the center torso, the left arm, and a miss. Uh, the Stalker at the Rifleman hits with 11 LRMs to the left and right torso and the center torso. Uh, almost got a crit on the right torso, but no effect. Uh, and hit the building with a large laser. And some mediums, it's down to 36 structure. So it's definitely going down this turn. 
Uh, the Puma at Yarvik misses with the first medium pulse laser on a five, lands the other three to the left arm, right, and center torso. That left arm is down to two, set, uh, right torso is down to 15. And a bunch of machine guns to the left torso and left arm, down to zero armor. CT down to 26, left torso down to 18, right torso down to 13, left leg down to 30, center torso down to 24, left leg down to 28. And missed with the flamer on a 7. Okay. Uh, Yarvik at the Grizzly. Misses with the LBX, misses with three of the four mediums, does catch him in the left leg with one of the mediums. Uh, and the small pulse at the Grizzly hits him in the right torso for three, and nine LRMs to the center and left torso. Uh, the Grasshopper at the Flashman is... Uh, no, this is Ash. This is not the Grasshopper that died this turn. Yeah, that guy had all the machine guns. Uh, that was the Puma. Uh, which, yeah, has four medium pulses, a flamer, and it looks like five in the right torso, five in the left torso, and three in each arm. So 16 machine guns he's got. Could have just looked at his ammo. He's down to 184. Uh, but yeah, that is a lot of machine guns. Wouldn't mind salvaging a couple of those for some anti-infantry work or something. Ash hits the Flashman in the right torso down to 6, the right arm down to 16, the right leg, the center torso, and the right leg, right torso again, down to 1. Uh, Longsword misses the Rifleman on 8, misses the Hellhound on a 10 with the ER small, does land uh, 6 SRMs and counting to the legs and right torso, the left torso. Uh, the Grizzly. Misses Yarvik with the Gauss Rifle on a 7, which is fortunate. Uh, does land the large pulse laser to the right arm down to 9, and the medium pulse laser to the center torso down to 17. And a small pulse laser to the left arm down to 9, critting on his lower arm, which really shouldn't make a difference because his left arm just got blown off with an LRM. Uh, uh, the Grasshopper Mark III, the one that did die this turn, uh, takes a shot at the Flashman's left leg with the large laser, mediums to the CT, CT down to 10, the right arm down to 11, left leg down to 14. Hellhound hits Yarvik in the right arm, that is, I believe, his autocannon arm, so we would like to avoid losing that. Uh, the upper arm is going to be... Oh no, the LBX is in the right torso. Uh, only thing in the arm is a medium laser. Yeah, we're not worried about that at all. Uh, LRM5 to the left leg, down to 25. The Blackjack at the Loki. Hits him in the right torso rear with the ER large. Hits him in the right torso rear with the medium laser. Critting on his SRM6 ammo. Uh, forcing him to auto-eject. Uh, but saving the mech. The, uh... Right torso takes 156 damage, but the remaining damage is prevented by case. Uh, medium laser to the right leg, center torso rear, down to 3 armor. Uh, building 41008 collapses due to heavy load. Hellhound is hit by falling debris for 4 damage to the right torso. Falls 5 levels, takes 30 damage. Uh, yeah, I don't think we would have done 30 damage with the weapons we fired at the building, because those were like 8s and 10s. Uh, takes 30 damage to the left leg. The right torso takes 10. The left arm takes 10. The right arm takes 5. Uh, needs a 9 to avoid taking damage to the pilot. Gets an 11. Uh, the Flashman needs a 7 to stay standing. Gets a 9. Yarvik needs a 6. Gets a 4. Falls down and takes 8 damage to the right leg and center torso. Yarvik takes his uh, first consciousness check, which he does succeed at. That was a nice auto-eject, yeah. Uh, well placed, I would say. Uh, we'll skip Hoser's physical attacks, we'll skip Longsword's physical attacks, and we will skip Tsubasa's physical attacks. 
And hopefully we've got them down to 33%. I would love to take that rifleman in one piece, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, Earl is up to 3 heat. The Grizzly is up to 3 heat. The Hellhound is up to 8. Let's see if we've got them down to 33. If we do, we'll go ahead and call it. If not, one more round. And we've got them down to 36%, so not quite. They've got us down to just below 70% with three kills, which is a bummer. Uh, we did win initiative, so they are going first. And we've cleared out the southern or the eastern part of town. It's just this northeastern section that we have to worry about now. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can get a little more detail. All right, who did they move? Did they move anyone that we can see? No. They moved a pilot. That's fine. Uh, Petra. Petro would like to move three hexes and get eyes on where the grizzly is, and the chameleon and the rifleman, if we can. Uh, Earl would also like to move three hexes, would also like to have eyes on these three. Hoser might be wanting to wait until... Yeah, we'll wait on Hoser for just a minute. Uh, the Orion will also wait a minute. Our remaining Grasshopper, which is Ash, will wait a minute. Uh, Tugyu in the Stalker. We'll walk forward to Hexes and get eyes on the Rifleman. Uh, oh. At extreme range for the larges, at long range for the LRMs, at a walk, we've got uh, got advantage on those rolls too. We're rolling an extra die and taking the high one. Uh, let's see, is it time to move Hoser yet? Well, let's move the guillotine out of the way. Uh, okay, the Grizzly is advancing on this mess. Uh, Hoser. And stay out of sight of the Grizzly, get eyes on the Chameleon. Yeah, take some shots at the Chameleon. Uh, it is gonna have to be a run or we've got no targets. Alright, uh, we've got the Puma, but he hasn't moved yet. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a run. Do we turn? No, I think we go up the hill. Uh, Yarvik we're going to wait on, Subasa. Subasa can try to block in this flashman, keep him from coming down this way. Uh, we could run, but we'd only have one evasion. If we jump, we'll have two. Yeah, we'll jump it. Uh, we outnumber him. Uh, oh, Yarvik. Uh, Yarvik can get within melee distance of the Grizzly, and the Hellhound, which is prone, needs a three to stand up. Let's do it. Uh, Ash. Uh, Ash would like to be at medium range from someone, but these buildings are all in the way. Uh, we can... We can get eyes on the Puma at a range of five hexes, which is not bad. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, we'll walk for one evasion. Probably means she's gonna eat a Gauss rifle. Uh, at that range from the Grizzly with one evasion, yeah, he's, he's gonna hit. Uh, needs a three, four, five for running, six for our movement. Yeah, that's not going to go well. Uh, let's see. 
Garvik, our longsword, can come over here and take some shots to the back of the Flashman. Not that the Flashman is particularly susceptible to shots from the rear or has any kind of ammo to speak of. Uh, Grizzly needs a 3, gets a 6. Hellhound needs a 5, gets a 5. Hellhound, running and turning, uh, falls on his left arm and destroys his left arm. Uh, takes 3 damage from the skid to the left leg. And uh, Yarvik needs a 3 to get up, gets an 11. Alright, starting with Poser, as we do. We've got the Chameleon on a 7 with the ER PPC and 5s with the standard PPCs. we got him on a 7 with the ER medium, but the regular mediums are out of range. Uh, so yeah, that'll be 3 heat over to fire the ER. Uh, Earl has eyes on the Rifleman, can hit him on a 10, has eyes on the... Hellhound has him on a 10. Uh, the Rifleman has partial cover, it looks like. No? No, it doesn't have, apparently. Hex, this, hex, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one, he is literally one hex away from uh, not having partial cover on the Rifleman. Uh, yeah, we will take a couple of 10s, or a 10 and a 12. And the LRM's on a 10. And then with the mediums, we've got the Grizzly on 12. Uh, make that an 11 if we twist. Or, you know what, instead of 10s on the Rifleman, we've got the Grizzly on 8s. That's probably the better option. So yeah, that'll be an 8 and an 8. We'll do 3 mediums on 10s. We'll do the LRM 20 on an 8 and the SRM on a 10. We get a little closer, we'll keep the LRMs out of the equation. That'll help us cool down a little bit, but for now, 4 over is fine. Um, let's see, Banshee not have eyes on the grizzly or the chameleon or the hellhound or the rifleman dang uh so yeah petra has got no shots this turn uh the... okay. Tsubasa taking fire from the flashman and the nighthawk that's not great uh we'll skip to yarvik to the grizzly Grizzly is worth 2,800 points. That's kind of a lot. Uh, we'll do the LBX on a 5. We'll do medium laser on 6s and 5s. We'll do the small pulse on a 3. We'll do the LRM on an 11 and the streak SRM on a 4. Or whatever that was. Uh, Ash has the chameleon. I think it's right as this chameleon. He's got a large laser, two mediums, and four smalls, and a pair of machine guns. So not much more of a threat than, say, a phoenix hawk. Uh, whereas the hellhound has already taken some damage. Uh, still has two ER mediums, but no large. Uh, that said, we've got him on pair of tens and a quartet of sixes to go three heat over. Uh, let's see, the stalker has eyes on the rifleman on thirteens, elevens, but nothing else. That'll be all four of those. Uh, gun dog into the back of the flashman. Uh, we've got him. With the LBX on a 6, that's not bad. Is that in his back? Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's his back, all right. Uh, maybe we can core him out if we hit him with enough stuff to the center. Uh, 
Uh, guillotine does not have eyes on any of these guys or that guy. Uh, so the guillotine has no shots. And Tsubasa... Might as well go for the Flashman as well. We should have started with Tsubasa if we were going to do that, actually. Do we want to do that or do we want to hit the Grizzly? Uh, we can take the Flashman, maybe knock him down. Uh, we'll do one large on sixes and the four mediums. That'll put us two heat over and we'll still kick the Flashman if we don't fall down. Because, oh, we fell down. Dang. Well, hopefully we can take a big enough chunk out of the Grizzly that they're below 33% at the end of this round. The Chameleon hits the Arvik in the right leg on an 8 for 5, down to 22. Hoser at the Chameleon hits him in the center torso, the left arm, the left torso, and the head with the ER medium for 7 damage, down to 2 armor. Roger Turner takes his first consciousness check, which he does succeed at. Uh, the Flashman lands. Uh... Three medium lasers on Tsubasa's left and center torso and left arm. Uh, Earl misses the Grizzly with the LB-10X, does hit with the large laser to the left torso, and 12 LRMs to the arms and left leg. Uh, the Nighthawk hits Tsubasa in the left torso, would have been the head, but it goes to the left torso instead, down to five armor there. Three edge remain. Uh... And that's probably why Tsubasa fell down, because that's 21 points of damage, if I'm not miscounting. Uh, the Rifleman at Yarvik hits him with 3 out of 4 with the large pulse lasers on 4. Good three. That's just medium range, and he's standing still, and we were not evasive. Dang. So CT down to 4 armor, right and left legs down to 12 and 15. Yarvik returns fire at the Grizzly, hits him in the right arm with the LB-10X, hits him in the right and left torso with medium lasers, the left leg and the left arm with medium lasers, and four streak SRMs, mostly to the right arm, critting on his shoulder. What is in that right arm? Oh, the Gauss rifle. That's nice. Uh, the Puma also hits Tsubasa with... Four medium pulse lasers, that's another 28 points of damage. Uh, to the center torso, the legs, and the right arm. The left leg is down to five, the center torso is down to zero armor. And the machine guns, to the center torso, everywhere else, the right arm is down to one. Center torso, critting on his engine, and gyro. Okay, so that's also why we went down. Uh, Ash at the Hellhound hits him in the right leg with a medium laser, hits him in the right torso with a medium laser, down to 10 structure, and hits him in the left torso, down to 10 armor. Uh, the Stalker lands three LRMs on the Rifleman 2C's right torso. We are not doing super great this turn. <laughs> uh, the Longsword in the Gundog hits the Flashman in the right torso rear with the LB-10X, solid slug, down to zero armor. And SRMs. Uh, maybe we can follow that up on the right torso, but uh, center and left torso take the brunt of it. Uh, yeah, he's down to 8 armor on the left torso rear, 6, and 10 on the center torso rear. Uh, the Grizzly hits Yarvik in the right arm with that Gauss rifle, it transfers into the right torso, that's another medium laser we've lost. Down to 9 armor on that right torso, which just takes another large pulse laser. And a medium pulse to the center torso. A uh, small pulse to the right torso. LRMs to the center torso, critting on the engine. Uh, and three LRMs would have hit the head, but we have one edge remaining. Goes to the left arm instead, transfers to the left torso down to 15. Uh, Tsubasa at the Grizzly hits him in the right leg with the large, the left leg with the medium. The right arm and left torso also take mediums. The right arm is down to 3 structure, the left torso is down to 14. Grizzly falls down, takes 7 to the left leg, does not get the crit, uh, does not hurt the pilot. Uh, Flashman needs a 6 to stay standing, gets a 7. Uh, 
Let's see, Yarvik needs a six, gets an eight. The Chameleon took 40 plus, needs a six, gets a four. Takes five damage to the left arm, critting on his shoulder and hand. That left arm hit it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm sure you can. Uh, the left arm has a medium laser, so that's not super effective. Uh, but once we take out that left arm, we can start eating into the left torso, which might be a little better. Uh, Tsubasa needs to make two piloting skill rolls for the gyro hit and 60 plus damage. At nines, he rolls snake eyes. Takes uh, five damage to the right leg, down to six, and forces his first consciousness check, which he gets with a seven. Uh, oh, Tsubasa's about to eat a couple of kicks from the Puma and the Flashman. And there's not a lot we can do about it. I just hope he doesn't get us in the center torso. Uh, we've got the Hellhound. Hellhound is prone, we cannot kick him. The Grizzly is prone, we can kick him on a zero. Uh, Longsword can kick the Flashman on a six, yeah. Uh, the Guillotine is not going to kick the building. Hey, you two. Give me one second, you guys. Sorry. You guys okay? Just one second. Hello. Man, those guys will... I don't, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Uh, Puma kicks us in the right arm. The Orion kicks him in the left leg, which is destroyed. So the Grizzly is probably going to eject. The Flashman kicks the Blackjack in the center torso. Exactly what I was hoping didn't happen. Uh, so that's another mech that we've got. And that one is not going to be recoverable. Or at least rebuildable. Uh, and the Gundog kicks the Flashman in the left leg. Does not get the crit. Leaves him with 12 structure. Does not knock him down either. And I'm really hoping that we can finish this this turn so that uh, we don't lose any more mechs. Because, yeah, that's the, uh, the Grasshopper and the uh, Blackjack both cored out and not going to be fixable. Uh, Yarvik took a couple of points of engine damage as well. Come on, be below 33, please. All right, come on. All right, we're winning initiative and they are down to 30, just below 31%. So yes, we can call this a victory. We can let that, uh, we can let the rifleman flee. We can let the hellhound flee. Uh, alien? was knocked over, but I don't think he was crippled. Um, okay, yeah, everyone cools down, no artillery to land, so yes, we are going to save our salvage, as we do, as soon as it lets me. Come on. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to say, yes, we controlled the battlefield. Uh, let's see, the Orion is crippled, the Blackjack is salvaged, the Grasshopper is salvaged, the Warhammer and the Marauder are both engine kills and are going to need side torsos put on. Uh, Tsubasa got hurt in the fall. Alan, Davi, and Stiletto were not AIA. Uh, I don't know why you would think that. Their mechs got shot out from under them, but they're not dead. Um, Shusky and Chu were also not total losses. Oh, that's what it is. I deployed them and didn't finish the battle with them. So yeah, those are... Glad I scrolled down here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, zero Chu. Uh, Yarvik took a hurt in the fall. Got hurt, took a wound, uh, got hurt. Uh, Stiletto did not get hurt, and Davi didn't get 
hurt. Uh, let's see, the Puma escaped, the Rifleman escaped, the Grizzly was missing a leg. Uh, and had a busted shoulder. That? The Clan Gauss Rifle. Enough shots. Uh, last maybe one battle. So yeah, we're definitely gonna salvage the Grizzly. Uh, the Fenris, the Griffin 2C, the Mercury, the Fenris. No, 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 no. The Mad Cat. Uh, let's see. The Loki has an XL engine, right torso, blown off. SRMs, another Gauss rifle, Clan Tech. Yes, uh, that's gonna be the Loki. So, you know what? Uh, we're not beholden to anyone. We can just go ahead and take all of this. Everything that doesn't escape is ours. Yeah, lots of good loot indeed. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We killed the pilot of the great worm we captured the pilot of the grizzly wow that's a uh, three four um we captured the pilot of the loki who was also a three four captured the pilot of the mercury who is a two three nice. uh the grizzly who liked the grizzly Delete the redundant contract and mission in the briefing room, the ones that didn't have that scenario. Uh, I actually did that before I went on. <laughs> um, uh, I like the Grizzly. It was... I mean, technically, no one got the kill on the Grizzly. It was crippled, so I guess we can leave it as none. Uh, but yeah, Hoser got two kills, the Mercury and the Fenris. Uh, yeah. Uh, Victor Rama got two kills, the Mad Cat and the Fenris. Uh, and the Fenrises? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, they were. They were about the same battle value because they had the same type of pilot. Um, Ash got the Great Worm and the Griffin. Tsubasa got the Loki, Nairn got the Pouncer. Another milk run? Yeah, I don't think so, Gridley. <laughs> we lost how many mechs? Uh, we'll call that a marginal, no, we'll call that a regular victory. It cost us, but it wasn't Pyrrhic. Uh, but yeah, um... This is the mission that we're on. It has this scenario. I already got rid of the other two new uh, contracts and the other two new missions that I set up. Um, personnel, we're going to go to Missing in Action. That was for Nitta. And she is going to be made active. active there we go uh so let's see we've got mulan ju a veteran admin hr who's waiting to get his elite red french at 36 xp uh we've got mr popmeyer who is saving up for 40 vanessa is saving up for 40 ed is saving up for 40 Fred Jones was saving up for 30 for a point of tactics, if I recall, right? Uh, yeah, I believe we were saving up for a point of tactics. Um, so that's another 2 XP out. Uh, veteran, we could use some edge. Um... Wayne Henshaw, Tentacle Shogun, with 20 XP. Do we want to spend that on anything? I think 4 Edge is enough. 
Uh, we could save up for piloting. We could save up for gunnery. We could do tactics, strategy, or leadership. Uh, we could do human TRO. We could do hopping jack. Hopping jack is actually really good, especially in his mech. He can't jump every turn and fire his lasers. Uh, but he can fire four of his lasers, one of the largest and three of the mediums, and jump and lose one point of heat. So... Yeah, I think Medical Shogun is going to go for Hopping Jack. Uh, Curdy is saving up for uh, Veteran. Zuko is saving up for Veteran. Denise is saving up for Veteran. Yeah, I think. Let's just go down to the Mech Warriors. Many dependents. Uh, let's see. Fred French at 36 XP. Got with 6. Wayne Henshaw with 0. Scarf Pony with 18. Uh, Tugyu with 8 XP. He is going to need 20 to get his gunnery up. And I would like to get his gunnery up. I'd also like to get his piloting up because uh, that stalker is no good when it's on the ground. Um, but with the nat but with the natural aptitude of gunnery, every point of gunnery that he gets is amplified. Because it turns it makes it easier to hit on a 10, 11, 12. It makes it easier to hit on, you know, sevens and eights. Um So the difference between like a seven and an eight on three dice is it, <sighs> I just think, especially in the harder shots, like the 9s and 10s, using 3 dice is much more advantageous. And I think the difference between a 10 and a 9 is statistically relevant in that case. Or I should say uh, statistically advantageous. Uh, Merrick is waiting to become a regular. He needs one more XP. Malmoira can be a lieutenant. <laughs> a lot of mech parts on the ground for a milk run. Yeah, yeah, there were. Uh, repair bay. Uh, the blackjack is salvaged. The grasshopper is salvaged. Those both hurt. The Mark III grasshopper with the XL engine and the double heat sinks and the endo steel. That thing was a nice mech. Uh, the blackjack. Blackjack was basically just a standard old blackjack, just with ER large lasers. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, yeah. The Warhammer and the Marauder are recoverable. Three hits and three hits. Uh, the Orion is gonna need a new left arm. As it took his shoulder off. Uh, I wonder how that's gonna go. Do we have to reattach it before we salvage it? Or scrap it? <laughs> I wonder. Because I don't think it gives you... Uh, no. We could replace the lower arm actuator in the left arm before we reattach the left arm, or... Okay, uh, left arm. Uh, let's go into salvage mode real quick. Uh, we'll have... Uh, ben, maybe? Where's Ben? Uh, where is Ben? I'd like for him to get some XP on this. Oh, there's Ben. Oh, Ben has no time at all. Uh, let's make that Elena take this medium laser out in half an hour on a four. Maybe an hour. Nope, she got it first try. Uh, Vernita could try to salvage this arm actuator. Barely. I'm glad I didn't try to save time on that. Uh, go back to all locations. We'll go back to repair mode. And we will... I wonder if it'll give me a warning. <laughs> it was worth it. I just don't think it was a milk run. Good loot run, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did pick up...
We picked up from the Fenris down to the Loki. All of that is new stuff. Uh, we're gonna have a hard time finding the text to, uh, oh, Grizzly. Do we want to run a Grizzly? It's what, a 70 tonner? Uh, it's gonna need a new right arm and a new left leg. Uh, let's go to the right arm. Go to salvage mode. Oh, we're gonna have to take the Gauss rifle out. That is something I want to spend as much time as possible on. Grizzly is great. Yeah, but a grizzly with a busted arm is a little less great. <laughs> uh, we'll have Edeborg. No. Chris? Yeah. Chris is a weapon specialist. She can take the Gauss rifle out on a four, even though it's clan tech. Ooh, oh, she can't. Uh, Elena. Elena or Ben are the only other options, so Elena will hopefully get it out by tomorrow. Uh, the ammo bins, we can have, I hope, a regular do that all day. Uh, yes, Rudin? Uh, actually, Rudin can do that on a three because he does have plan tech. Uh, Kostya can do that on a Five. No, that's the one we want to save, because that's the full one. We'll have Tamalika. We'll have Tamalika take that out on a four, I think. Uh, she's an armor specialist and an engineer, but she's also a veteran tech, and I want that Gauss rifle ammo. Uh, and the actuators, uh, let's have... Do extra time, we'll have Shoyab do one. We'll have Alexandru do one. And we'll have Shada do one. And then we will have to wait until tomorrow to get the Gauss rifle out and put it back into repair mode. Okay, so that's that's what we can do on the Grizzly for now. Uh, the Orion, where's our armor specialists? Elena, Veronica, Jamel, Gleon, Tamalika, and Ben. Uh, we'll have... Uh... Our arm is destroyed, okay. Um, do that. And that, oh, no. Um, we can scrap the left arm, right? Yeah. We'll have to replace the right arm. We'll have to replace the left arm. Uh, we've got the center torso. We can have Edeborg start on that. And have her do the right torso real quick as well. Uh, we'll hold off on the arms until... Hold off on the arms until we've got Edeborg free again. Or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see, the Atlas needs so much ammo. Uh, we'll have Vernetta do one of those. That's uh, 60 minutes, so we'll have Shada knock those out. Uh, let's see, Ben, 9, 28. Okay, yeah, 9. Leaves in with two minutes. We'll spend 15 minutes tomorrow on this left leg, and then that'll be done. Uh, the Warhammer. Tamalika, maybe? No, Tamalika was already doing something. Gwion, maybe? Here's Gwion. Now yeah, we can slap some armor on that on fives and fours. And twos. 
and gain an XP on a three that he didn't make. Uh, let's see, the right torso is going to be Edeborg in 45 minutes. We're going to have to salvage the engine. Uh, we'll have Loni spend today and tomorrow on that, I think. Yeah, because Loni doesn't have any uh, specialization, so he can just do that. Uh, repair medium laser, we can have... I do that real quick, and you can also salvage that on a four. And we can have, uh, we'll have Susan salvage that one, or try to. We'll have uh, B. B is also not a specialist of any kind. Uh, yeah, okay, we got that out. Uh, let's see, the AMS. We can have a veteran do that in about 360 minutes, so Anaceto can do that. Hey, you guys. Jeez. All right, so that's it for the Warhammer until we get the engine out and the side torsos, the side torso put back on, then we can reattach the arm. The Marauder also. Uh, that was, Boyam was doing our armor for us, so that's 22 minutes, that's 7 minutes, 28 minutes, 20 minutes, 14 minutes left. Uh, we can have Janet take out the SRM-6, we can have Kostya take out the ammo bins. Uh, gain an XP trying. Uh, how about Denise? Denise has clan tech. Uh, we've got a lot of clan tech that needs working on. Um, have Dulphicar do that ammo bin. We'll have. Ethan Labrie, they got the engine. Okay, so what, what can we do? <laughs> uh, the left torso, replace left torso. Oh, we have no left torsos. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's get some parts on the way, shall we? Uh, let's go ahead, we'll get, uh, two sets of, no. Hmm, so the Timberwolf needs a head, we don't have a head, and we can't get one. Uh, sensors for the Great Worm. Great Worm's clan tech, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the Great Worm is clan tech, so I guess the sensors are... Uh, oh, right. It, uh, no, it doesn't have a head. Uh, sensors aren't going to do any good without a head. Uh, same thing with the 75 ton. I have to salvage another 75 ton clan endo head. Yeah, that is what it's looking like. Uh, we can repair everything else. Uh, like the left torso. We can have Edeborg do... Actually, not Edeborg. That is uh, going to be Denise. No, Denise was... There's Denise. Uh, she actually is going to need to take longer. But she will. Uh, Edeborg. 
Morgan's gonna have to spend a day and a half putting that right arm back on. And then it's gonna be fixing that right arm. Uh, and I would like an elite tech with clan tech knowledge to uh, repair this left leg. Strip the armor and weapons and sell the carcass. Uh, potentially we could do that. Uh, there are actually a lot of mechs that we could strip down for parts. Uh, the Great Worm, I don't know if I want to keep. It's pretty lightweight, but not that uh, mobile. Uh, the Loki, the Loki actually. The Gauss Rifle. Hmm. We might hold on to the Loki. We might hold on to the Mad Cat. We might hold on to the Grizzly. I'm not going to hold on to the Manowar. Uh, we can start taking that guy apart. Uh, the Koshi. Koshi, I think we're just going to have to sell as is because we can't take the cockpit out. We can't take the left torso off. Uh, so the Koshi, oh, name, weight, type, uh, and then back to general for status. Actually, we'll do status and then type. Uh, okay, where is, there's the Koshi, it's literally just one point of center torso, three points of head, and six points of left torso, uh, with uh, just a cockpit and sensors, a heat sink. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell that for quarter million sea bills, that's not bad. Uh, what else can we... Do the pouncer. Pouncer with an ultra 10 and three shots of ammo. Um, have uh, Kai salvage these ammo bins because he's good enough that we don't have to worry about breaking them. Uh, we've got some actuators that we need to pull out. Honestly, this actuators can probably wait until next week. Oh, that's an XP for him. Or, sorry. Uh, that is an XP. Not an XP, that's a task for Ethan. Uh, the gyro. That's a three ton gyro, which is kind of valuable, actually. Uh, we can have Veronica do that over today and tomorrow. Ultra 10, I definitely want my weapon specialist, Selena, Chris, and Ben. Uh, clan tech specialists, Denise and Yasrudin. There's Denise. Uh, still only get it on a five. No, I want an elite weapon specialist, so that's going to be Ben, I think, is going to salvage that. Um, now this Mad Cat with the two PPCs, the two clan ER PPCs. Uh, we could, theoretically, uh, throw two more clan ER PPCs on Hoser's Ride. It would not be as accurate unless you wanted to save up a little more XP and spend it on specialization on the ERPPC. Um, not trying to tell you how to spend your XP, but those ERPPCs with the specialization and sniper would be a hell of a combo. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna let you guys think on that. And also, which of these mechs you would like to see kept, and which of these you would like to see salvaged. We can talk about it on Discord, or you can hit me up in the comments. 
but in the meantime, uh, thank you all for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, join the community. Link to the Discord is in my bio on Twitch. Um, and until I see you guys again, uh, thank you for joining me. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. ERPPC specialization sounds good, especially if we get enough ERPPCs. We've already got three, including the one that's installed in the two on the Madcat. We've got three for you. But yeah, we can, uh, we can sort that out next week or sometime between now and then.